Hey everybody, welcome to my next Let's Play of a Pokemon game. This Let's Play is Pokemon Emerald for the, for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, released in, I believe, 2005 or 2006. Some year right around there, but it's pretty sure around that year. Anyways, this has been an LP I kind of been wanting to do. Um, it's been the non-least played game I've seen. Like, really, people like playing Sapphire and Ruby more. Uh, me, personally, I like Ru Emerald, but... My first one was Sapphire, but I gotta say, I like Emerald better. But anyways, uh... I don't want to say that much information about the game so far, but I can tell you something. Uh, what my Pokemon team is, I should do. Uh, my Pokemon team, my starter is, I believe, is Torchic. Uh, Torchic, it is... The one of the main starters you can start out with is this generation, uh, which is the third generation. Uh, this is, uh, the fire type starter. Turchik. Uh, I gotta say, it's like the first one out of the future soon to be fire type, fighting type Pokemon. That starters, like, seriously, they make so many of those. Uh,. I don't want to get into too much detail, but it has no items whatsoever. It has only Scratch, Focus, Energy, Ember, and Growl. Uh, hold up, sorry. And, uh, this is a new move. This is something pretty interesting. Contest moves, they're something new in this game, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to show off. But I probably will one day, just not now, so. Here is a Water-type Pokemon I probably will be using or will not use. It's kind of a still-choosing-team kind of projective right now in my head. Uh, I had the team sorted out, but then I'm starting to have second thoughts on some of the team members. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to tell you all of them, so it doesn't get too confusing. Now, he has Oystish and Growl, which is a ghost type, which is not even that good in case you're fighting a, another ghost type or a psychic type. And Growl is just, you know, not really offensive at all. He is a water grass type Pokemon, which is really, really good. And there's really not that many Pokemon that just like that level. It's really hard to take him down if you had a water type or a fire type. It's hard to do that alone. Uh, probably your best bet is probably Thunder. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad, sorry, I didn't show off the other ones. Now, here's Shroomish. This is the Pokemon I'm kind of defending on my head. Uh, it's good so far in the beginning, but then afterwards, and it's not it's not as well at the end. It's last from kind of, you know, deciding on. So, Breloom, oh, not Breloom, <laughs> sorry, Shro Shroomish. He is a Grass-type Pokemon. When he evolves, he turns into a Fire, uh, fi yeah, he turns into a Fire-breathing Pokemon, no. He turns into a fighting Pokemon. Well, this Pokemon I have played in a uh, playthrough of this game, like, last before. He was a good Pokemon, but I gotta say, he was my weakest Pokemon also. Uh, next to another Pokemon, but I don't want to say. But I should say, because he is the next one that I have right here with me. Uh, level 11. Um, his attack is Tackle, Absorb, Stun, Spore, and Leech Seed. That's actually two really, really good moves right there off the bat. So, it's pretty good. Uh, sorry for one thing, the quality of the camera on this game is not that well. I'll probably switch over to the GameCube Game Boy Player, which I was playing Pokemon Crystal on, so, uh, yeah. So this is a Wingle, my flying-type Pokemon for now. Um, I, I know what my flying-type Pokemon is going to be originally, but I'm just kind of deciding right now for a fact. Uh, so, he's a water-flying-type Pokemon. He's level 10, his moves, uh, Water Gun, Growl, and Supersonic. Now, he's going to use he's gonna be my first Pokemon. I'm hoping to someone is going to take off this gym leader in the beginning of the level. Uh, or, not level. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. The beginning of the game, like, 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 KO, knockout, I don't even try. This is Roxana. She's the first gym leader through in the whole game. She is the first gym that's in Rustrobe City. She only has, I believe, Rock-type Pokemon, which is just like Brock if you played the original Pokemon game. Or, if you followed me on Crystal and Heart Gold, he... She is, uh, just like Brock, which is, a uh, gym battle number, what, what was that? I think it was 14, so, on both Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, sorry, Heart Gold and Crystal, sorry. But, she's just like Brock. The only difference is, I think she has a, uh, her main last Pokemon should be a Nose Pass, which is really, really not that hard to take out what, whatsoever. Which, every starter you, you pick first, you basically beat this gym so easily. So he's number 11, that's 11, okay. Now, this is something I want to do. I kind of want to train my low tech, because I am considering on using that. 
So once Nose Festa comes out, I'm just gonna give it come out and then just switch out for probably Shroomish because Wingle is actually a flying type which can get weak by uh, rock type. So it's kind of a risky move in case he uses a rock type move. So I'm not gonna you know risk that. So our last Pokemon is Nose Pass. Now this thing, it's to me the first time I think of this thing. What am I doing? Uh, the first thing. The first thing, the first thing I thought of it was, it was a ticky thing from like, I don't know where those things are, but some place, I don't know. But that's the first thing that came in my head. Oh god. So Harden's not really that good of a move. It's just, it's defensive is good, but just not that good in, in all in general. I never use it. Uh, I think I used it when I was playing when I was a really, really, really little kid when I had a a Caterpie. And evolved into a uh, Metapod, <laughs> and it and it learned Harden and and if you get the joke, I don't want to keep on explaining. <laughs> okay, uh, but if you don't get the joke, watch the original anime series. I believe it's probably one through ten. One of those episodes is gonna have the joke, and you're gonna understand why. And uh, there's been a lot of YouTube posts about this the Billy Harden and Metapod. So if you understand, that is terrific. That's the best thing. Sorry, I heard someone coming. I was like, I never, you know, never get chances to record. And it's so hard here, because people just interrupt non-stop, 24-7, don't even care, so who knows. Um, so now, I'm going to just keep on trying to take out Nose Pass, because Nose Pass is really not that hard of a gym at all. He didn't keep on attacking me whatsoever all the time, but no matter what, he's just going to lose. No matter what, so, it's just... Look, it's it's trying to gain its life, but it just can't. It's just going to lose, because it has Leech Seed, and it has Absorb, and... See, it's just going to lose no matter what. I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting a lot of life just by doing this. Absorb, absorb um... You know, it, it, it takes life from your opponent. Uh, it's a Grass-type move, and, like, Rock, Ground, Water, etc., they are weakened to those. So I get more uh, HP than, um... Yeah, we we'll just go with that. And for a fact, I know Nose Pass is not going to survive. I'm just waiting for it to actually just stop trying. Yes, that's Tackle, but Tackle's not really going to do anything if it doesn't have like a move like Earthquake. And Roxanne, I stop using Potion. This is like going to be a longer battle than just doing this. And something I should point out in this game. Now, this game, it's a bit very, very kind of annoying, which is not a bit, but it's a lot annoying on um how they use potions and max potions and then full restores later on, but or was it hyper potions, not max potions. But anyways, they use a lot of those potions in just gym battles gym battles, sorry, alone. So yeah. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure I don't even know how many more absorbs I got. I got thirteen and I'm still going. I don't even sure if he has an or she has another absorb. Uh not absorb, a uh, potion. Which I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Hopefully she doesn't, but I never know. Now, this should be my last turn taking her out. And, uh, well, she tried. So now she's gonna die. And Nose Pass falls to the grave, finishing him off. Oh, he's not dead. Oh. Well, now he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, Leech Seed. So, yeah, this Pokemon is a good Pokemon, but not until later on. It is a good Pokemon to start out with, just not, like, later on, so... Low tag, hopefully it's gonna get leveled up a lot. Now, the one bad thing about low tag, I don't think it knows a water or grass type move until later on. That's the bad thing, but I do want to train it up in a way. Ooh, sorry. And low tag is not gonna get that much action in some of these videos because, well... When he starts off, he just plain sucks. Like, he does. Like, straight out, nothing even worth my time. Now, I have seen people, you know, LP the game, this game, Emerald, with the Lotad. And it, I just, I could tell how hard it is to actually train one up somewhat without, uh, you know, switching out or giving XP. It's extremely hard. Now, okay, hold up. I'll explain who that is in a second. Now, 
Uh, Lotad is a pretty good Pokemon. It's like the best Pokemon you could get out of this whole game. Next to, uh... Well, it really depends on what Pokemon you get, specifically. There's a lot of good Pokemon in this game. And I don't know why people hate this generation. It's, 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 yeah, it's a kind of tiring generation that, you know, um, you get tired of. But, you know, I love the game still. Yeah, I got tired once in a while playing this game, but... But if you don't play it for a while and you come back to it, you're going to like it again. So, the replay value is maybe medium. Not very, very high, but it's medium. Now, the guy that just ran away, he's, uh... Uh, what, can I show it off? I know I can, but um, you know I don't want to even weak, so I'm gonna try doing what he wants to do. Blah blah. blah. He wants me to get something. Okay. Uh, now I can go through all these little trainers in battle, but I don't want to. But I want. I do want to get that. I do want to get that. Yes. Got to repel. Ah, screw it. We'll show off one little battle off. So repels, um, they can, well, they're exactly what they do. They repel a Pokemon in the grass for about I mean, as many steps as required. I think a propel is 50. So if I take 50 steps, it's going to expire. But the super propels and then max propels, which they go up to like 200 or something. I don't remember how this goes, but whatever. Um, but there's like a lot of Pokemon in this game that's, that don't really look like Pokemon, I gotta say, but some of them do. And the same people said the same thing in Generation 4 and 5. Now, I honestly think that some of the Generation 5 Pokemon did look like some of the Digimon, which is a totally different franchise. Now, that's somewhat true, but I gotta give credit to Nintendo. They, they, they actually made some pretty good, decent Pokemon in that game. Or, not Nintendo. Well, Nintendo, Game, game Freak, or Pokemon Company, whichever, you know, whatever. They did some pretty good Pokemon, and I gotta admit, that's that, but... You know, there is some Pokemon that did look like Digimon in a way. It's not every single one. But yeah, I noticed one other thing. Pokemon are obsessed with rats. Or, the po pe Nintendo are obsessed with rats, turtles, and firefighting Pokemon. They're obsessed with those three things. There's about so many copies of just those kind of type of Pokemon just out in this game. Well, not really firefighting, they're just the starters, but other than that. Now, I want to do is just go heal and play this off screen. So, it's just going to be like my other LPs, which is just like Pokemon Black and White, uh, and in White, well, how should I say this? It's, it's just like Pokemon, uh, B, BW, or no, that sounds kind of stupid. Uh, I don't want to catch an Abra, it is a good Pokemon, but I already used an LP before. Uh, one Pokemon I am going to use from, from the last LP, you're going to see the future of this game, Let's Play, but just not now. It's in the future, so... Uh, was not oh, where's Pokemon Center? Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center, Pokemon Center, over here. Okay. Now, what I was trying to say, um, yeah, wait, hold up, what was I going to say? <laughs> hey, when that happens, um, oh yeah, so, when I, my first playthrough, which is, I think, Pokemon, it's just called Pokemon Black and White, just the LP alone. But I was playing Pokemon White version. But then I replayed White as another LP, and this time I just called it Original White, so... I don't know. Just call it Black and White, and then... Oh, LP number one is Pokemon Black and White, and then LP number two, three, I bet, not two, but three was White. And then LP number... what was it? Six and seven. That was Pokemon Crystal and Heart Gold. So, yeah, there you go. It, I did five RPG main title games in the Pokemon series. I did one Pokemon game that's just a spin-off, which is Pokemon Snap from the first generation on the N64. And, you know, they're... Yeah. Well, the LP that wasn't a lot long, but whatever. Anyways, in the next episode, I'm going to meet you guys in the next town, which is actually not that far from here, but I do, have to, I do need a train, because... For some reason, I always had the hardest time with just that second gym. I honestly don't know why, but I always did. But, whatever. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald. So, please, like this video, add as friends, subscribe, share your friends, favorite it. And please leave a comment in the comment section below, or on Twitter, or Shadow Knight 64 x and Exceeding Shadow, and add me on Skype as Exceeding Shadow. I always love talking to you guys, and interacting and what's not. 
So I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys till then.